Your happiness brings misery to the narcissist. Your happiness makes them miserable. They can't stand to see you happy. They can't stand to see you live in your life. It makes them feel very uncomfortable. It triggers them to reflect on their own unhappiness. It makes them feel small and inadequate. But they were already miserable. Even before you came around. They just used people and things to help to distract them from their misery. Misery loves company. They are involved in a lot of escapism and addictions. Anything to help them escape from reality. To help them escape from all of their problems and difficulties and their feelings of inadequacy. But when they see you, and you're happy and living your life, it makes it even worse. Because then they have to look at you and witness the very thing that they've been striving to achieve their entire lives. Narcissists spend so much of their time, energy and money just trying to find happiness. They buy expensive things they don't even need. They drink alcohol and do drugs. They sleep around, all in an attempt to find the one thing that they're looking for, the one thing that is so effortless for you to obtain. And that is your happiness. When the narcissist sees that you are happy, it makes them envious and jealous. They want to take your happiness away from you because they feel like your happiness is taking something away from them. And it is. Your happiness is taking away their delusion of happiness. All this time they trick themselves into thinking that money, power, wealth and success is all you need to be happy. But that happiness was never real. True happiness comes from within. And when they have to witness your happiness, it reminds them of that. It reminds them that the very thing that they have been chasing after exists within you. It makes them want to stamp out your happiness because your happiness reminds them that they are not really happy. It reminds them that what they have isn't real. So they will do whatever it takes to make you miserable just like them, to bring you down to their level. Because they can't stand to see you happy. They can't stand to see you living your life. They will try to hurt you. They will try to put you down. They will try to sabotage what you've got going on. But they will also try to blame you for the abuse. They will try to make you feel like it's your fault. 
They will try to make you feel like you deserve it. They will try to take you off your natural course. They will try to distract you from your natural state of being. Your natural state of happiness and contentment. Just like they try to distract themselves from their unhappiness. They don't want you to feel that way anymore. They want to pull you into their world now. Misery loves company. People who are suffering are comforted by the knowledge that other people are also unhappy. But they understand that you could be happy on your own without them. They are fully aware of that. Which is why they will go out of their way to make you miserable just like them. They will do whatever they think will hurt you the most. Whatever they think will destroy your happiness. Because they can't be happy. Because they can't find fulfillment in their lives. They look at it like. If they can't be happy. Why should you? So they go out of their way to tear you down. It's like they're on a mission. It's like they've discovered this newfound purpose in life. Where they have to stamp out everything that you are. Everything that you are reflecting back to them. Because your happiness reflects back to them. That they are not happy. And that's what they are trying to eliminate. That's what they are trying to keep under control. Your happiness may bring misery to the narcissist. But that has nothing to do with you. That's something they need to confront within themselves. And if they choose to not do that. That's on them. But it is not your responsibility. You are only responsible for your own happiness. It is not your duty to save other people. They are grown adults. So they should be responsible for themselves. Instead of depending on someone else for their happiness. Continue to be happy. Continue to live your life. It may make them miserable. They may try to stop you. But it's either that or you end up just like them. You end up living a life that isn't fulfilling. You came here to be great. You came here to live your life. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not endured. So live your life and do what makes you happy. Let the narcissist watch you if that's what they choose to do. Let them drive themselves insane. They may try to tear you down 
But you have to remember that's coming from them. It's not something you need to identify with. Identify with your own thoughts and emotions and live a positive life. You don't have to tone yourself down. You don't have to reduce yourself to their level to make them comfortable. They choose to be around you. They choose to watch you. So if your happiness makes them miserable, that's on them. That's something they have to deal with. It is not your responsibility. But I also recommend that you avoid these narcissists. Don't spend too much time around them. If a person is on a lower vibrational frequency than you are, all they can do is bring you down to their level. They cannot lift you up. A person has to be on the same frequency or on a higher frequency to raise your spirits. Pay attention to how you feel when you are around the narcissist. If you suddenly feel miserable for no reason, be aware of that. And try to spend more time away from them. Try to spend more time with yourself. You have the ability to go within. You have the ability to reflect on yourself. And that's where the power is. That's where your true happiness lies. So all you really need is some space to feel happy. All you really need is some time to yourself. While all the narcissist needs is you. They have to attach themselves to you to feed off your happiness. They have to elevate themselves at your expense. Which is why they're always the ones that are pursuing you. Because they just want a part of you. They want some of your goodness. They want a souvenir. They want something that they can keep as a reminder of you. They're always chasing after you. Because you have what they want. You're happy. And you can generate those emotions from within. Which is something that they will never be able to do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narc survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.